Hello everyone, this is Shuang from Lenacon. In this video, I'm going to walk you through step-by-step -step configuration of OPC way communication with S7-1500. So in this scenario, we have S7 CPU as OPC way server. And for OPC way client, I'm going to use UA Expert from Unified Automation. It's a free of charge software that you can easily download and install. Okay, let's get started. So here I have my TI portal open. So I'm going to add a CPU, S7-1500 CPU. So I'm going to let the TI portal to identify my CPU. Uh, I will add a unspecified CPU as a placeholder. And then TI portal will scan the network and identify the CPU. Detect. I'm going to choose my PGPC interface and then start scanning. Find the CPU, detect, and it will be added to my project. Just keep in mind that OPC UA functionality is a built in feature in a 700 series from firmware version 2.5. So you can verify what PLC has this functionality on the OPC UA foundation website. So so simply open your browser and go to OPC UA Foundation. So they have a tab for products and then under certified products, you can see the list of products from different vendors that offer the functionality for OPC UA. And here under product category, if you go to controller and logic controller, so you see that Semantic S700 family is listed. And there you can go to the detail page and then um, you'll see all the functionality and features. It can act as an OPC UA server or OPC UA client. Okay, so let's get back to our TI portal. So to activate the OPC UA functionality, or we can go to CPU properties. So there we can find everything under OPC UA sub menu. So here I click on the server in general, and there's just a simple checkbox to activate this functionality. I accept the security note, and then this server would be accessible through this address. So I'm gonna leave everything at default. Uh, there would be no uh, password or user password exchange or no security policy for this test. All I need to do is to uh, pick a runtime license. So that could be found on the runtime license, OPC UA. And uh, for this scenario, I can simply go with the uh, semantic OPC 1500 small. And that's it. That's all we need to configure on the CPU. So now I need to share some data to be able to see on the client side. So for that, I'm going to create a data block. So I simply name it data. Okay. And I'm going to create two variables, one integer. And one boolean. Okay, let's do that. Start value. Okay, so you may notice two columns here. If we expand this column, so the first one is accessible from. OPC UA, it means that these variables are readable through an OPC client. And if you want to be able to write, there is the other column, writable from OPC UA. So by default, everything is readable and writable. You can, you can change this uh, properties just by checking on checking these boxes. So that's all we need on the PLC side. I just uh, save, compile, and download. Okay. 
Okay, and with that, my OPCR server would be up and running. Now I need to connect to the server through a client module. So for client, I'm going to use this um, free of charge software tool. It's called a UA Expert, and you can download it from the Unified Automation website free of charge. So I am going to add a server here. So you can do that, just right click on the server or just simply click on this plus sign. And I give it a name, seven, fifteen hundred. And now I need an address that I need to put in the advanced app here. So the address we can simply copy and paste from our TI portal project. So I'm getting back under the OPC UA properties and under OPC UA server. This is the address. Copy and paste here. And that's it. And leave everything else at default. No security policy, no user password. So we go with anonymous. Then you can say, okay, connect automatically. Click OK. So as soon as we do that, client sends a request for connection to the server and a server will start with exchanging certificate. So this is a certificate that has been provided by our PLC. See the name of cert certificate shows up here. This name can be found on the PLC side under OPC OA security. And this is the server certificate. That certificate has been generated by the CPU automatically when the activated OPC OAS server functionality. Okay. So I'll switch back to the OA expert. This certificate has not been authorized by any certificate authority institution by, but for this test, we can simply trust that because there's a button here, trust server certificate. And with that, it will be added to the list of trusted certificate in the UA expert tool. And then click continue. And with that, we see, we can see a server connection has been established. So this icon here means that the server is connected. And we can also see in the log bar on the bottom of the screen. Okay. So now here I can browse through my OPC server. So this is the name of my PLC. I can expand the subsection. Here I can see all of my data blocks in the PLC. So I have a data block called data. And under data, I have two tags to find, the Boolean and my integer. So you can simply drag and drop them to the main screen. And here I can see uh, the value my tag and I can change it from here. I can change this to one. Now if I switch back to TI portal and look at my tags, you can see that they have been updated. Okay. As you can see, Activating OPC UA communication with S7-1500 is very easy and straightforward. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and bye-bye.